Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn about this error. The update statement conflicted with reference constraint. So think about a scenario when you are working as a SQL Server developer and you need to update a record in your primary key table or foreign key table. So you have a relationship between two tables as a primary key and foreign key and you are trying to update the record in either of one and you are getting this error. So let's go ahead and uh, produce this error and then we'll find uh, uh, solutions uh, for this error, how to solve this issue. We have uh, two tables here, DBU customer and uh, one of the column is called customer ID. That's a primary key column. Here I have a DBU orders table and I have customer underscore ID and this is integer type and this is foreign key referencing uh, to our customer table and using the customer ID as a reference. So we are creating two tables, DBO customer and DBO orders. They have primary and foreign key relationship. Let's go ahead and execute. Now we are going to insert a few records. I'm inserting two records in DBO customer. So with ID customer one and ID customer two. The rest of the records are first name, last name and social security. So that's fine. And the DBO orders, I'm only inserting one record where we have customer ID one. Now let's go ahead and execute and you see that uh, two records are inserted successfully in a customer table and one record inserted in DBO orders. So now you see that we have a customer ID 1 and customer ID 2 in our primary key column and we have a customer ID, customer underscore ID value only one in a DBO orders. That's a reference or a foreign key constraint table. Now. Uh, here if I would like to let's say if I would like to update this record now this table this record is a single record with ID customer 2 this is there is no record in the customer uh, sorry DBO orders table and I can do anything with this uh, record if I want to go ahead and update a customer ID from 2 to 200 I will be able to do it because there is no value that is used in, in the DBO orders as of now but uh, if I would like to make update to customer ID 1 here in uh, DBO customer or uh, I would like to make a update to the customer underscore ID 1 here in the DBO orders table, I might get some error. So let's play with this one first uh, and then we'll uh, um, experiment uh, with the value which are already uh, inserted and having the reference record or uh, the matching record uh, in the both tables. Uh, let's uh, update this record DBO customer and I'm going to say update to the let me copy this update statement and here I want to update to 200 where customer ID is 2 so you have to filter this record by using where clause because I'm only interested to update the row right this one where customer ID is 2 and that's the value I want to update so you always say update table name and then say set column name and the value you want to update to and uh, filter the records uh, by using some where clause conditions. So if I will go ahead and uh, execute, it gave me no problem and updated the record here because there was no record available in the DBU orders for this customer ID that I just updated. Now if uh, I will try to update customer ID 1 to 100, then what will happen? So you see that I'm updating a DBO customer saying set customer ID to 100. So I want to set this value to 100 where customer ID is 1. So let's run this one and see what happened. The update statement conflicted with the reference constraint. This is a foreign key name. The conflict occurred in a database tech brothers IT table named DBO orders and column customer ID because you see that this customer ID is used here in DBO orders table. So if we will try to update, there is no value, uh, that there is no 100 value in the DBO orders. So it is saying, I can't do that for you. So you see that here, we have value one here. If we will try to update this one uh, as it is uh, using uh, uh, or referenced by the DBO orders, that's the problem. And if we will have 100 value here, it will have no problem. It will let us uh, update. Uh, but now we don't have that and uh, we have one and one here. So we need to update to 100 and also 100 here. Now I will say, okay, 
how about if I will go and update uh, this value to 100 first uh, in DB orders and see if that work. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and try. This is the same thing. Uh, so it will say no, I cannot do that because your customer table does not have value 100. Uh, so that's also problem because you see that we do not have any value 100 here and uh, it's not letting us update this value in DB orders table there are a couple of solutions from here one thing what we can do we can insert uh, the record uh, with the value customer id 100 in the dbo customer table first uh, then uh, come back and update our dbo orders table and finally remove this uh, record uh, where customer id is one this is one of the solution we can do so let's uh, run that solution we say okay insert the record in dbo customer with value 100 the value is inserted successfully now let me copy the select statement cut so i can show you guys at different stages execute so we see that we have inserted an, uh, an extra row with the customer id we want to wanted to update we wanted to update this uh, one value to 100 but we were not able to do it as it was referenced by this uh, uh, record in dbo orders table so what we did first we inserted a row in our primary key table with the value we want so we did it with the 100 next we can update this value now so as our primary key table have the value 100 if we will update the value uh, customer underscore id to one we can do for sure we can do actually if we want to have like a value to 200 we can also update to 200 as long as any value is uh, present here we can update the value uh, in uh, in a customer ID so if I want to uh, one is already there if I want to do 100 I can do 100 if I want to do 200 but I cannot do 300 because that's not there in primary key table so anyways uh, so this one does has only rec one record so I can uh, simply update uh, um, say update table table name and uh, then uh, here I say set customer underscore ID to 100 uh, I do not need to use the where class because there is only one record so execute the row is uh, updated successfully and uh, let me show you the data now and you see that uh, we have uh, updated the uh, customer underscore id successfully in db orders table and uh, also this value is there and this value we need to delete uh, because we wanted to update to 100 and that was not letting us do to uh, 1 to 100 uh, as it was referenced now the reference is broken here now we have 100 here this is 100 this is just the old value we can go ahead and delete uh, so uh, when I say reference is broken that doesn't mean that the foreign key or primary key is uh, gone we did not delete that uh, what I, I mean to say that uh, as the value here is already updated to 100 and this value is already there and uh, this is not one and one here so that part is taken care of the relationship is still there like see we were uh, able to insert a new record with 100 and then updated to 100 here so this is a in relationship but uh, this value is a standalone now so we can say delete from table name give you a customer where customer id is equal to one so you see that uh, this was uh, intended uh, so, uh, outcome we wanted to update the value to 100 on both tables uh, for customer id so we did that but uh, we followed three steps so we inserted a, a row in a primary key table then we came to foreign key table and updated according to that value and then deleted the old row with the value we didn't need anymore that was the first solution but now think about if you do not want to delete the records and insert and um, and uh, finally uh, update the records you can do another way so let's say if we want to update this record uh, 100 to 101 okay we have another way in which we can disable the foreign key constraint update the record and then enable the foreign key constraint that's another way let's execute this statement this will give us a foreign key constraint name so it is sys dot foreign keys that's the system view we are using to get the list of the foreign key constraints uh, you see that orders table and that's where we have foreign key this is the name of the foreign key if we are not interested here we can always go to tables go to orders table and go to keys and this is a foreign key constraint uh, now first thing what we need to do we need to disable we say alter table table name 
So that's the table where we have created the foreign key constraint. Uh, and we say no check. Uh, that will disable uh, the foreign key constraint. Uh, so we have say no check constraint and provide the name. Uh, so I'm going to delete this one and just drag this part uh, right here. So now if we'll go ahead and uh, disable. Now the foreign key is disabled. And here we would like to uh, update the update the record in DBO customer where set uh, customer ID 101 and uh, we where uh, customer ID is 100 so remember it was not letting us do it uh, before uh, and we had to follow different things uh, and here once you disable uh, the foreign key constraint you can update to anything because uh, it is not implementing a primary key foreign key relation anymore okay now let me copy this uh, select query just to show you guys step by step cut here pasting it right here so I can show you the foreign key is disabled so I'm trying to in, uh, first update the DBO customer uh, table and uh, setting the value for customer ID to 11 where it is a hundred so if I will run this statement it completed successfully without any issue and you see that uh, I have one one here and I have hundred here so a relationship is broken we do not have foreign key constraint enable anymore that's why you see hundred here and we do not even have hundred uh, value in the primary key column because we have uh, disable uh, the foreign key constraint uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, also in uh, update this record dbo underscore uh, uh, orders this is the table and uh, I want to update this uh, value to 101 as we have 101 here So now update update successfully now we see that we have a 101 here 11 here and uh, that were that's how it, it was supposed to be we wanted to update to 101 in both sides uh, and that worked just fine uh, but final thing we have to enable uh, the foreign key constraint again so next time if somebody try to update and all those kind of thing they will get uh, error so uh, we don't want uh, the people to just make uh, uh, updates and uh, without the foreign key uh, validation so now the foreign key is uh, implemented again or enabled again if uh, somebody try to update this record let's say if somebody try to update this uh, 112 let's say 12 now and where the value is 11 that's the value we want to update it will throw us error it will say uh, update statement conflict with the foreign key constraint uh, because we do not have uh, one or two value here in DB orders uh, uh, table for customer ID column as it is foreign key um, constraint created on this column so there are two solutions again in cases uh, where uh, you have to make the update and that value um, um, does not exist uh, let's say um, here we do not have that value and uh, um, um, in cases uh, let's say we have um, I showed you guys uh, like when you have this value standalone value fine you can just do wh whatever you want to do but once the value is in uh, a relationship uh, you have value in the foreign key constraint table and primary key constraint table and you want to update that value and there is no value existing here in the foreign key you cannot go ahead and update this value there should be a reference value in the uh, table here if you want to do update I showed you all those scenarios so make sure you follow two um, solutions uh, I will say I will go with the second one disable the foreign key update to the required uh, uh, records uh, and then uh, uh, enable the foreign key constraint so this is a uh, where sometime uh, this comes handy um, you have the option to disable uh, and enable uh, the foreign key constraint uh, and correct uh, the data so thanks very much for watching this video and I hope uh, you learned something good stuff from here and I will see you guys in next video